With just 25 days until the London 2012 Olympic Games opening ceremony, it gives me great pleasure to announce today the 18 players that will represent Team GB. Joe Allen, Craig Bellamy, Ryan Bertrand, Jack Butland, Stephen Corker, Tom Cleverley, Jack Cork, Craig Dawson, Ryan Giggs, Aaron Ramsey, Micah Richards, Danny Rose, Scott Sinclair, Marvin Sordell, Jason Steele, Daniel Sturridge, Neil Taylor, and James Tonkins. My congratulations to every one of those players, and they're truly welcome to be part of Team GB. Why no David Beckham? Um, from the offset, when I was given the opportunity to manage this team, I was uh, given the job to manage as I normally would manage. I look on uh, form, fitness of players, availability of players, and in that respect, I deemed that this was the best squad available to take this tournament on. It was as simple as that. There's no, um, you know, I, I've got a, a, a vast amount of respect for David and what he's done for the bid process coming, um, bringing the Olympics here. Uh, David is a professional and David is uh, an England international and what he's done for England. But I've got a duty of care to everybody uh, within this squad to pick, in my mind, the best possible squad. Now, I have no relevance. The only relevance I really have is football in terms. Um, I've treated the, all the players, and I mean all the players, in the same manner. Um, I've given plenty of my time to viewing all of the players in regard to their form and fitness. And this was the squad I come up with. Um, and I think this is going to be a very competitive squad going into the summer. We would uh, we'd be delighted and honoured to have David involved more broadly with Team GB in some way. I totally, utterly respect Stuart's professional judgment and decision as to the 18 players he selected. Um, but more broadly, in respect of da potentially David have some having some involvement with Team GB, that would be fantastic. And I've actually made contact with his representatives over the weekend, and we'll wait and see how that uh, moves forward. What do your friends and family think of your selection in the squad? Oh, yeah, they're really happy, you know. Um, really proud, like I say, being from London and growing up in London as well, so it's not too far for them to travel. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic occasion. Just English and Welsh players in the side. It's not really a British squad, is it? As I said before, and I think we rolled the clock back some seven, eight months now when I took the job, I've got a list of names on, on the... Uh, written down what I think ability-wise are good enough to do a job. I'm not picking on personality, I'm not picking on ticket sales, and I'm certainly not picking on nationality. I couldn't even tell you, if I'm being honest with you, how many players from Wales are in this squad or England. They are individuals that are all Olympians now. These 18 players are Olympians, and that's the only way I view them. I've been blown away by the mentality of the Welsh players within this squad to be part of this setup, you know. I've had various phone calls with Chris Coleman in respect to it, and obviously um, absolutely delighted to have any individual through the door, wherever they come from, whatever part of uh, Britain they're from. You mentioned the, the sort of overage players. How important will the likes uh, of Ryan Giggs and Craig <coughs> Bellamy be to you? I think the three overage players are absolutely key. Um, when I sat down and looked at the squad, um, I always started with the younger players, pencilled them in, uh, the, the varying younger players, and then looks, looked at the, uh, the parts of the pitch where we needed strengthening by those overage individuals. And those three players, certainly, possibly down the spine of the team, will be absolutely crucial to us. You have a friendly coming up with Brazil in Middlesbrough. We have. Um, you've just picked a fresh team you haven't worked very much with. Brazil have a team which is basically their main squad, um, which they use looking forward to the World Cup. What kind of a challenge do you see for that? And do you think perhaps it's too strong of a challenge just before the Olympics for you? Well, we know full well that, that if we're going to be successful in any way, shape or form in the Olympics, we're, we're probably going to have to beat teams of the magnitude of Brazil. I think it's a shining example to people in, in, in our shores how seriously Brazil and Spain and various other nations take the Olympic Games. Uh, with that in mind, obviously, I've picked a squad that hope, hopefully is going to be good enough to, to win a medal for our nation. 
Now, we know we've got a friendly behind closed doors in Spain against Mexico prior to the Brazil game. I think those two games will, will show us the sort of standard that we're looking to attain if we're going to be successful in this tournament. 